Hey everyone, I am Nishit Shetty, a senior software engineer at Geekians. And uh, today we'll explore a bit about Turbo Native Modules. So Turbo Native Modules are a game changer in the new architecture, making the native integration faster, efficient, as well as a lot more reliable. So faster in the sense, Turbo Native Modules use JSI, which is JavaScript uh, interface to call the native code directly without the JC serialization overhead. So previously in the native models that we had in the old architecture, we had to go through the native bridge and then the communication used to happen. However, now since we have JSI, this is done directly and it has reduced a lot of overhead. It is also efficient because the modules are only initialized when they are needed. So this helps us to reduce uh, the lag that is caused between the communication that happens. So earlier in the old architecture, we had that the module would be initialized in the very earlier stage, even though you needed it or not. So this would also make the app a bit laggy as compared to the change that has happened now. It is also reliable since we have now codes in which creates a code that connects between the native code as well as the JavaScript code. So we don't have to worry about manually writing the boilerplate code or error in any of it. There is also one more thing that comes up is that we uh, have a type safety that is ensured between the JavaScript code as well as the native code. Okay, all this, let's have a look at the example that is over here. Okay, so this example is a simple JavaScript app that is created. So in this app, if we notice carefully, we have a simple JavaScript app. Okay, what we'll be doing is that we'll be creating a simple uh, native module that will help us to interact directly with the flashlight module of uh, Android devices. Okay, so uh, while creating a native module, we have to create a first uh, TypeScript uh, schema so that we can uh, so that we'll be able to use the code gen to create the schema for it to create the artifact for it. Okay, so we have written this. This is basically the Turbo module type that we have imported the next is the turbo model registry which is required for okay we will also return the type over here for this okay. as well as a toggle flashlight so we haven't uh, like added anything else other than that just a toggle flashlight function which on click it will uh, trigger the flashlight on if it is not on uh, then it will turn it on if it is on, then it will turn it off. The next we have is that we are uh, exporting over here. So once uh, this is done, we'll go to the next one, which is we'll now have to uh, provide a config for the code gen. So over here, we have provided the model name as native showcase. So once we come over to the package.json, we'll be adding a boilerplate code for the code gen config. So if we check over here, we have something called a code gen config. The name would be the same as over here in our previous code, which is native showcase. Okay, with the type would be modules and the JS SRS directory. So if whenever we want to create this, we'll create a new folder called specs and then we'll be providing the directory information. So we have provided space. Also for the Android, what would be the Java pack package name as the model name that will be keep. So we have kept it as com.nativeshowcase. So once this is done, we'll go over to the Android folder, okay? And then we'll be doing a Gradle W and generate code from artifacts okay so this will help us to generate the 
the code gen file that we require that helps in the communication between the native code as well as the JavaScript code. Since we have already defined the, the schema for it, it will help us generate without much issues. It will take a bit of time. Okay, so with the build as it's successful. So once it is successful, we'll receive something like this. Okay. So let's see if uh, once this build has been, this has been done successfully, we'll now go to the Android folder. In the Android folder, we'll go to app, then we'll go to specifically the main, then we'll create a folder over here. So I've already created the code over here for this. Okay, we'll create a native showcase, which is a module name, and then we'll create the module. So once uh, I've written the code already over here for this, so the package name, so this we have to take care that this is the same name that we have used in the package.json file over here. Okay, so once that is done, we'll, we'll add the context. Since we are accessing the flashlight, we'll also have to access it using the camera model. So we'll use Android hardware camera using this and the other code required for it. So over here, if you see specifically, we have something called the flashlight on, which maintains the state. Since we don't get directly whatever the state of the uh, of the flashlight is, so we keep it over here. Then we get the name, that is the name of the module. After this, we'll add the necessary code, uh, the hardware code for it, the code for accessing the flashlight and toggling it as in if we have the fly if we don't have the flashlight then we'll uh, project an error however if we have a flash flashlight then it will go ahead the cache functions and everything that has been added over here okay so this is a basically the code for toggling the flashlight once that is done we'll put it into a package code so once this package is created, the, this is a boilerplate code that you can use. Okay, this will package it and then we'll put it in the main module, which is a main act, main application yep. over here. So this is the package that I've added over here. Please also remember to also import your code over here that is native showcase as well as a native showcase package. Okay. So once this has been done, we'll be going to our main code, which is the, the app.tsx. So if you check over here, I've already imported the native showcase, which is from SRC. Okay and then i've added like whatever the if it is on if it will show on and if it is not it will show off okay so if there's an error it will show the error as well so this is my function so let me just run this over in my phone so i've added this i've connected to my phone and now I'll be the ADB devices. Yep, we have the device. Try to run it again.
this should take around a minute or two for it to get installed so it usually took takes a lot of time in the initial installation i think it should Anyways, once uh, that is done, we'll be able to see the code being uh, work working on a phone. That is, when we click on the toggle switch over here, it should turn the flashlight on. Else, it should turn the flashlight off. 